And here we have it, the last series of Lee Play. Jam, my dude, it has all come down to this moment and it feels a bit surreal, I'm not gonna lie. What are your feelings at this point? It is, it is, it's not a bittersweet end, but we have come absolutely full circle. The first week has started with the same set of four matches and so far there haven't been any real big surprises not at this point like no real surprises at this point because i mean at the start elvets did beat monks but their monks have grown over the season at extraordinary amounts so like now into today's game they were the favorites uh with masters like i said i was expecting them to get a few games off of Savet, but they did to win that's what happened and then sir to frio silent was expecting sir to win maybe not that heavy handily but they did it. So here, Jam, what are your expectations? What are your predictions for this Lawsane Arctic game? I'm giving you the hard job, basically. Oh boy, yes. <laughs> well, now that you've set it up with uh, me saying that there haven't been surprises, then you pointed out specifically all the surprises that happened. Mm -hmm. I'd say this might be a little bit surprising as well. It is, of course, Lausanne. They have been knocking it out of the park more than anyone else. Yes, Servette was close on their heels but and still pretty much are won't be able to steal that first place from them nope whatever happens uh Lausanne pretty much has it in their books the the amount of games that they won boy howdy still it's arctic's arctic's job to at least show themselves Lausanne and arctic will be playing the with each other in the finals that will be one of the series the other one will be Servette versus team swiss incredible rebels so for Arctic, this is uh, a opportunity to threaten their opponents. Say, hey, you thought we were we were this place fourth team? No, not exactly. We might look like a small dog, but we can bark and most importantly, we can bite. So Arctic, throughout the whole of league play, were expected to come out in the top half here, uh, guys. And they've been a team that I would say over the last couple of weeks, even though the mechanics have not been on point. So... In week 11, so three weeks ago, they lost 3-0 to Sir, only being able to get three goals in three games. Sir being able to pull off eight in those three. Then, the week after that, they went up against Silent, and it was a super close series. But, their mechanics were trash in that game. Their strategy, though, Jam, fantastic. The week after that, they come up against Elvets. The mechanics are a little bit better, but that strategy still so impressive so this week expecting incredible strategy they would have done the research on how to beat Lausanne and i'm expecting that their mechanics to get back up to their form that they've been at all season this could be an arctic today that could take down Lausanne which going into the land in three weeks time that could cause upsets you know this is arctic probably trying out some strategies maybe hold one or two back which they're not too sure but they want to get the win here and set the tone for those finals uh, definitely a backbone such as a good strategy or some plays that you can execute constantly um, just having a solid approach for the game it might work wonders i've seen that the teams on paper being uh, so different the weaker one just gets through because they're playing solidly mm -hmm. uh, the opponent might be great technically but they are overconfident or trying way too hard. And as a result, Arctic Gaming has uh, have all, all the opportunities to, if not steal this from Lausanne, to at least uh, grab one or two and uh, make sure that they're known not as the just the fourth team, but the fourth team that has threatened the leaders. Yep, and we gotta remember, we didn't get to see Lausanne last week as they got the forfeit win. So, we're seeing this week in well, Jam, they are fired up. Started us pretty strong. Three shots already, and if even if Hello's chip was so weak, I don't know how Kiever decided that would be a, a shot, a goal, and yet it sure as heck was. Kiever starting strong for Lausanne as they basically just finish up with the 30 seconds of offense. As Arctic Gaming couldn't really bring the ball far away from their own net, it still continues. Right now, their touches are more of an emergency nature, just get the touch out. Although, look at that, with just two touches more, Arctic Gaming slowly threatening the net of Lausanne. Oh, 
classic. The heart of Lawsan. Hello, the brains. And Kiba, the backbone. But these lads don't seem strong enough to be able to keep this out. What a play from Yagi. Kiba, that backbone just slipping a disc and not being able to make the save. The pass was so important for this one as Arctic Gaming win the in the corner. Ball going anywhere else and Kiva with a chance of a dribble but couldn't get the control of the ball. If the ball was gone any other way, Strobi wouldn't get a touch on it. Yet, he put, the ball was put exactly in the top right corner. Well, Lausanne waited just a tad too long for them to make a challenge. Arctic get their tight goal. But it is for Lausanne still looking as strong as ever. Passes pretty good. It's only the touches afterwards that are uh, tricking or playing with them just a little bit. Good clear from passing right down. Straight into Yagi admittedly, but that was hard for Yagi to control, so he didn't gain anything of it. Kiva needing the second touch, puts it wide, and hello. He's not going to give up his defensive position. He's making sure he can get back, and is actually really lucky. Milox wasn't on target there. Classic. Stalling things up. Ball downfield. Hello does get that down towards the back net. Kiva looking for the pass, but does not connect. Classic with the touch, but Strobi keeps it away. Whew. These two teams not going to be able to etch out any advantage on each other. Yeah, you can see that the goal as usually at this point it might get stuck in the midfield. Both teams are trying to chip it in, but on the other half and not succeeding. Right now, both of the teams are always getting close to the net. And the possession is being changed so often, but you said it, the they're getting close, but not exactly there. Both was in an arc to gaming threatening a lot with these long clears with these opportunities where defense is not exactly there just yet makes it just that a tad easier i've seen a couple of double and triple commits jam come out from law Sane, and i feel like they're pretty stressed right now they've got so much pressure on them in this game you know when you're the team that's expected to win you've got to win if you lose well you've done bad if you win and you're the expected team to win, well, you're expected to win. Arctic now have so much room to test, and that is the smartest choice for them. They're trying it. They're pulling off different ways to net. None of them working yet, but it looks like they will eventually find it. I do an envy loss hand right now. The team that is expected to win and the team that is on the first place in the tournament board you have the biggest target on you of them all. Milox comes in into this one, really one of the first proper touches he's done this game. But he outplays Hello as Hello is so late for the challenge. We would like to start this way over again. Maybe hmm. sleep it over, but they can't. Lausanne is still in this one with 90 seconds remaining. They need to quick uh, come up with something quick, otherwise it'll be with Masters on Servette all over again. Can we also note that Strobi got the demo there as well, removing the player. Like, not only does he get a pass, but he gets a demo. Like, the lads of Arctic are pulling everything out of the hat here. Hello, looking to get the equalizer. Classic just can't connect. I'll be found by Hello once again, getting this wide bump onto Yagi. But Kiva, fortunately connecting with Hello means he can't get the clean hit. It's just sort of dis possessed there. Nelox does get that up and over, and basically all the lads of Arctic are doing at the moment are making it difficult for Lawsane to get anywhere near that net. The hits are coming off from Lawsane, but they're always wide, a little bit too fast to be picked up. It's basically not on target, because if it is on target, Arctic save it. Yeah, Arctic are just doing a great job in putting their cards in between everything they're trying to do. Alazen is still pretty able of bringing the ball past them, and Arctic sometimes are a little bit too eager to put all of the players on the one wall to challenge that ball. Oh my goodness, Kiever almost gets it done, needs the help of Classics dropping down, as Arctic Gaming seemingly reacted to the first attempt by Kiever, but weren't exactly ready for the follow-up from Classic. Now it's the half rotate from Classic, essentially it taking away the corner boost from his opponent, and instead of going back, he had the full tank of boost, so why not lunge onto it? It breaks up rotations, but it is quicker. In those situations, it's the kind of risk that you want to take, and it is so worth it. Ties up the game. 10 seconds remaining. Chances of overtime ex 
extremely high at this moment in time. Ball's going across, so it's not completely dead yet. Yagi will clear away, and well, Classic and the rest of are not going to contest it. Overtime has been struck. Kickoff goal looking unlikely at this point. Hello, Stroby. Unfortunately, off target. Straight away, Arctic Gaming getting the advantage. They had the opportunity, but at that speed from that angle, Stroby, it's a game of millimeters. You charge the ball just slightly awkwardly, and the clear goal ends up in being a missed opportunity for Arctic Gaming. Lausanne, though, they are not stopping. I don't know they have stopped. <laughs> they haven't. Ain't no need to stop. Why? Can't stop, won't stop. Classic bring us through the wall as if it's his goal. He's bringing it home, but yet he isn't. Lozen gets this one in the overtime, and really, they've outplayed, outshot their opponents. Arctic played well up until a point, and then Lozen said, it's, it's enough. You had your chance, now it's us. And really, that scoreline could have been so much bigger if it wasn't for the efforts that RT Gaming put in the defense and Lausanne, again, perhaps being slightly off their game in terms of shots on target, or at least goals on target. Shots, plenty. Oh, yeah, definitely plenty. 12, to be completely honest there. RT Gaming only had four, and it was just a difference in play styles. Lausanne were, I would even say, overly aggressive, like too aggressive, Jam. We saw them sending all three players downfield, but their speed, boy howdy, their speed of how they can just get down backfield so quickly and cover that net. I'm just interested to see how Arctic does that because now they're going to be looking for counters to get the ball up and over nearly there, but Classic keeps it away. And it was once again, all down to that speed. A miss hit from Kiva. Stroby is there. Needs to get his ball moving. I don't think that was the hit he wanted. Hello is going back to net. He should have left that. And yeah, the great pass is coming out in chat. The toxicity from Kiva. And well, the BM from Hello will get the first goal for Lawson. I mean, the, the toxic chat was one thing, but what Hello just did against pretty much everyone, no no possibility the moment that ball was snuck under the player of arctic gaming nobody in the defense could react to that that bounce went widely to where no of the arctic gaming where no chance to jump and yeah they they missed just they missed their chances up front a little bit of wacky decision making and yagi he wishes he was playing as fast as lazan you mentioned that maybe Lausanne is playing a little bit too aggressively, putting too many players up front. It just seems to me that they're confident that that play style, whatever, if, if they're doing like that, the opponent will just won't be able to bear with it. And looking at how Lausanne is playing, okay, maybe with two players down, it will be a little bit harder for them to play fast. But still, uh, oh, or maybe not. <laughs> Who am I to say that Kiever just outplays everyone solo on the field because he can't. Did you ever watch the uh, cartoon Wacky Racers growing up, Jam? Oh, I feel like you can time. have Wacky Rocketeers or something like that. And Hello Classic, Milok Stroby, Yagi, Kiva, all of these lads would be so fitting in it. Because some of the plays they can pull off, some of the tactics and strategies they come up with, and some of the demos. I, I want someone to make that. Can someone, like, please, like, you know there's an anime intro that someone made? Oh, I can't remember the name. It's going to kill me now. Uh, to Rocket League. I want a, like a Wacky Racers intro. And, like Wacky Rocketeers. Or just wacky, wacky Rockets would be fine for me, to be honest. But you're so right. These goals are so unexpected because they have to be unexpected. Because these lads are playing a prediction game, aren't they? And the unpredictable is what's going to win here. Yeah, and and plus this is co together with the aggressive. Hello, just pushed that through, and he didn't stop. He didn't try to pass in that sense. No, he just tried to find any old opportunity to put the ball past the defender, and yes, he did. So as a result, they get one over as RT Gaming just couldn't even react it. But good news for R. something else and see i'm disconnecting because my computer just can't handle the action that we're seeing right now mate. 
I, th I think he needs to do like hardware acceleration on Discord or something, buddy. I think that could be the problem. Your CPU just not handling all this craziness. Classic. <laughs> My boy getting it off the crossbar <laughs> down. 2-0 to Lusain. Oh, and you see Arctic Gaming sort of in position to stop this, but also not too grounded as for Classics and really the rest of Lausanne. It is a second nature to go go in the air for these ones, and they go for them so quickly. Again, the speed, the aggression is there. And at, at no point it almost seems in this game at least that they are uh, struggling to bring themselves back because for RT Gaming, this has been a dry spell. They haven't scored since the previous game. They haven't even put in a shot on target. This is looking off. Yagi, hello. What are you thinking, buddy? What's he going to pull off here? N nothing. Hello was not impressed. Gets the ball all the way downfield. Classic. So close, but just does not hit the mark on that one. Kiva with the pop. Got to be hit away from Shrovovic. Straight down center. Milok's doing wonders with the follow through. Steals the boost. Nonetheless. Classic. Up over Yagi. Gets the pinch, but Stroby. In the Batmobile has enough speed to get it away, but hello. Hello. It's me. I've been wondering if after all these years there will be any sort of defense from Arctic Gaming. You know what? For Arctic, they wish they had a fourth player. Because three is just not enough. Because Lausanne will just play you around the finger, bring you... You might try to rotate, but just it won't be enough. Won't be enough, big. Did you just start quoting Adele? Like I mean, it it was uh, a choice either between Adele or uh, uh, Lionel Richie. So <laughs> I went for Adele. It's a reference, nonetheless, and I'm so proud of you, Jack. Let's go with this. 55 seconds remaining, and holy hell, that nearly got there. So close. Arctic Gaming making sure that they are not out of this. You cannot count them out of anything at all. A consolation goal maybe is all they can achieve. But the feel good times could set up a reverse sweep off the backboard. Classic pass back looking for hello, but Milox intercepts it. Stroby lining himself up. Double commit as Milox is on that as well. The lads of Arctic Gaming, not too sure, just throwing everybody at the ball, hoping that something is going to result in a goal. I don't think that's a strategy for any sort of level. Well, maybe in bronze, that will be a good opportunity. Everyone's chasing the ball over there. So all you get is a bundle of six players around it, and somehow, some somewhere, it sneaks through. Speaking of sneaking through, that one almost went in. But Arctic Gaming will be leaving the game five goalless, only with one shot to their name, unless the stats changed in the last couple of seconds. Mm. Lausanne Esports got their hands on the play and never let go. They were just just <laughs> making it tighter and tighter and tighter. An Arctic game popped, absolutely popped. For the game number three, it is so many things need to change for Arctic Gaming as Lausanne just can continue whatever they're doing. If you look at what they're doing with their passing plays, boy, their hello is looking for the passes from their teammates. He has so much time. He is so comfortable. He just sits there for ages and he gets those passes and he gets the shots. As RT Gaming themselves on the other side are struggling to string passes together. And if they can't even get to the final third, they're for sure getting no chance of beating one. Well, that's just because Law Sane are now playing what is their master plan, their genius genius scheme to rule, I was about to say the world, but we'll, we'll stick with Switzerland now. You've got to start close to home, and then you can go on to the world, Law Sane, because it's just all about keep Kiva in defense, classic and hello, bish, bash, bosh, off the backboard, and then just sink those goals. 11 shots for Law Sane in that game compared to the measly one of arctic arctic though registering eight saves means that they were pressured all the way into the night and it is getting late over there in switzerland coming up to 10 p.m now boy how these lads have been playing for a long time classic wanting to cut it out here rather now than later but disallowed yagi with the pop 
No one to follow, and that's just getting the ball moving around. Milox does close it. It's on the mid line. Yagi picking it up. Doesn't have any boost. Will drop on his opponents, but it don't matter because Stroby finishes it there, and then it may be late, but Arctic are staying up past their bedtime. Arctic Gaming finally don't let their finishing get in the way of Edda. Stroby opens up strong in the first 20 seconds, and that's the best start they could have wished for right now. They can start building up from this one because Lausanne, we haven't exactly seen them play from behind, I believe. They have been in the lead for the previous games. Yes, the first game went into the overtime. Another overtime that had. Right now, RT Game can finally put Lausanne on a little bit of a back foot and see how the leaders of the league can actually play from behind. My prediction is pretty well, but their over-aggression this time can bite them just a little bit. It's one goal, Jam. And I'm... I hey, have I'm no idea. I'm hyping it up, Bacon. It's... Yeah, no, no, no. I'm completely with you there, buddy. I'm going, this is still anyone's game. For me, Arctic, such a good explosive start puts them in this. It means for me, I am not counting them out of this. You know, after that last game, 4-0, you might be there like, nah, Lil Sane have it. But Arctic have fixed things up. They're getting more aggressive, and that is good. Look at this from Stroby. A little bit too high, but the follow-through from Milox. The slow ball is perfect into the crossbar down and Kiva sitting there like an ugly duckling and Net is not able to get any chance to shine. Ooh, tricking everyone and Kiva not getting initial play, couldn't get the turnaround either as this. This ball was in no man's land. Nobody from Ozen can get it. Arctic Gaming one after the other and look at that. They now have a fire in their bellies. They're suddenly playing aggressively. They are com committing players up front, and that helps them a lot. Previously, they've been building the place from behind and trying to pass to a guy who wasn't even up there. Right now, they have the players up front, and this starts up the place so well. Right now, Hello is um, having to fight for his life. Place for him, so far, so good. But Lausanne need to bring themselves out of the defense right now against Arctic Gaming, or felt that, hey, we can, we can do this all of a sudden. It'll be a tough task, but it's Lausanne. Global warming is setting itself here. You can see all the signs as the fire is so strong there in Switzerland. Arctic came in, are melting away all their worries as they're now 3 0 ahead. How many players in that pinch? Too many. Huh. <laughs> Too many, I suppose. Yeah. We have been getting in the days of some of the strongest pinches that was only 150 but the goal is it's someone just rented only a cannon. 150 yeah go back oh, and do it again that's oh, not good enough <laughs> nah, 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 just go around and do it one more time but seemingly many of the teams today have rented a cannon and it's a it's not a part three Big nil shots it, it, hey, I, I believe, I'm not sure what I believe in by this point. I guess I, I was hyping it up, so I'm, I'm still on the hype train for Arctic Gaming. Three players up front, they need to score this, and they will. When Lausanne can get a one, two, three, a tic-tac-toe, if you will, against Arctic Gaming, they will get it. Yep, we have seen this way too many times throughout the whole of the league play. These lads of Lausanne, we told you guys at the start, this was a team that was formed to win. Arkan, previous captain of the team, steps down and becomes manager because he saw so much potential. He saw a game strategy and well, I think he saw right. That's a quick one too from Lausanne and it has pulled them back into this game. That's another one to three. I didn't even see all three players from Lausanne participated in that goal and Game plan, Arkan, will game plan this as Lausanne, in, in the blink of an eye, bring two goals back. Now threading with a third one. I am, I believe in Arctic Gaming, but all of a sudden I believe in Lausanne as well. If they can so quickly turn this one around, they also need to remember about the defense. Milok almost putting it up top right corner. Arctic Gaming do not want this lead to slip. That will be, I think, the biggest turnaround we've seen today. Now Lausanne still needs to get at least one going. Off the backboard, that's 
closed on down by Kiva and Classic wants to keep it rolling around. Those goals rarely work these days, but infield passes like that do. And hello. Is it me oh you're looking boy. for? Yep, he has brought this on back. That is definitely what Law Saint were looking for. Sorry, I, I needed to sneak that in just a little bit. I need to learn other songs with hello in them, I say, uh, I suppose. So, if, if hello, hello, could you could you please score a couple more? I'll practice my hello songs just for you, Lausanne Esports. I have, we we almost counted them off, and oh, I sh shouldn't have. I, I'm lost, Bacon. Goals keep happening, and I can't keep track of them all. Well, there is not going to be any goodbyes said from Arctic just yet, as they say hello as well and get themselves back into the lead. 4-3 now. Arctic not going to go down oh. without a fight. The bouncer, Yagi, puts it off to the side, but the attack's still on. Hello does find Kiba, the demo as well, but Milox into Yagi. Got to find an answer to this pressure, Arctic. Yagi seemingly finds it, and oh, I like how he finds it. You will watch Lausanne. All of their plays right now on focused on bringing a player with a pass. Unfortunately, this means that they're setting up their players in a set position with everyone sort of thinking about the attack, and nobody's going back. RT Gaming are exploiting that, and now as the finishing is again coming in so strong, they're making sure that whatever chances are getting up there, they are finishing them in style and bringing that lead back to two goals. But Classics, he will finish this one 4-5. We are having the best game so far, the highest scoring game. Forget about Swiss and Bradley or Rebel 7-1 over Silent Gaming. This is nine goals already, and Lausanne will use all those 40 seconds to make sure they'll bring this into the overtime at the very least. Things are going to get a little tense here, Jam. I'm not going to lie. One goal, 40 seconds to find it. And who oh, nearly found there. Ball cleared away. Classic cannot touch it. Yagi's got it all the way down. He's trying to pinch it, trying to pop it downfield. But Classic puts it high. I can already feel that Arctic will want to hold on to this lead. They just want to keep that ball down their opponent's half. Clear it, clear it, clear it. Yeah, he does put it to the corner. Milox can't get onto that. That's going to be a long ball downfield. Stroby being given so much time. Pinch, perfect pinch. The Cooks here pinch sends it the whole way. Milox chasing onto it isn't really needed. They just need to keep this away. So that's downfield. Hello cannot connect. Kiva can off the backboard. Brilliantly put off to the side. And Arctic Gaming stay alive and stay with this series as we go into game number four. This was this was tense. Everyone at the edge of their seats. And Lausanne, despite really squandering about 20 seconds of that, not really putting enough players up front to even get to that ball. If one player just clears it and there's nobody there, RT Gaming will say thank you. Thank you for wasting that time. Uh, and they will be really happy with what they did in this game. Coming in to a wire, closing shots, closing goals, and making sure that that defense stays mm. as solid as ever. Without those four saves by Yagi, without all the passes by Stroby, this wouldn't have been Arctic Gaming's match. And yet, they come in into this one. We expected a little bit of the unexpected and a little bit of the unexpected happened. Arctic Gaming take one off Lausanne. Do they have more in them? As a matter of fact, I think they do. Is Lausanne can be beat. It's you you put them on a, a slight uh, like you catch them being a tad too aggressive. And if their precision is right as Arctic Gaming dialed it down, dialed it in, I suppose, then you can win against Lausanne as well. So the only team on record in league play to take down Lausanne was Savet Geneva twice. Can Arctic Gaming add their name to that very, very short VIP list? Hello, on the ball, wants to get this away and that's an impressive way of getting away. Hello, well done. Well done. Yagi! chasing on to this and well he needs to get away unfortunately it allows it to drop stroby 50 50 yagi picks it up very nicely and we'll send that going downfield classic unfortunately not sure what to do hello seemingly as well stroby with a hit goes wide and classic picks up the boost 
He's aware of that 50-50. Gets up in the air looking for a pass, but unfortunately, doesn't get the touch he wants. Kiva does a little something something to keep control. A go, go, go in, and hello sends that going. But blocked out. Nothing coming to fruition here for either side as the first minute passes. This is a little bit, no risks taken really by any of the teams. Lausanne now seeing that if we go a little bit too crazy, then RT Gaming get, can get an upper hand. For RT Gaming, they're feeling, oh my god, we did this once, can we do it again? Well, if Hello is coming like that at you, you might second guess yourself, but they shouldn't. RT Gaming for sure can do this. They're also approaching this pretty carefully. No stupid moves in the defense, no risks taken for them either. When they're committing, they're committing just the right amount of players. And when the time for defense comes, they're there and making sure that Lausanne can just go back to their own half and trip again. Yeah, when Hello is coming at you, air dribbles and whatnot, you're going to be doing more than second guessing yourself. You might have to check your trousers of some brown marks. Stroby can't pull off a Hello maneuver. Yagi looking to get that pass off the backboard. Classic picks it up. Hello, send it downfield. But Stroby holds the line. You'll have to hold it a little longer. Classic bounce there on around. Unfortunately, not the hit he wants. Stroby, he's going to pick this up for a clearance. He's going to pass it out to Milox. And Milox just a feather away from that net. Nothing coming out of it. First half of this game, number four no goals to be scored and that remains true oh but how close can he get with Lausanne getting that drop on net Milox uh he has been a little bit quiet I think in the previous game has, it certainly has been quiet in this one but that one shot opportunity he needs to come back to his old self from the game number one I think he was really visible with his shots with that threat on the Lausanne net and right now well it's Stroby Yagi and Milox they need to figure they, again, they're in almost every single uh, aspect is just weaker than Lausanne. And right now they're really getting tested with those uh, air dribbles. Yes, you would know that Lausanne will be scoring that one. However, players are throwing that one. Where they're not going into the air, this will be Lausanne's 10 out of 10 times. So what I'm expecting to see in chat now, Jam, is Ale Lausanne. <laughs> you quite often see it. Go Lausanne. So many fans back in this squad come into league play known as the best team in Switzerland. And like we said earlier, they have so much pressure, so much stress on their shoulders. Arctic, a cult follower, but one that is strong as well. Stroby clears it away. Hello, straight into Stroby once again. Milox picking it up to get the demo and he does hello removed from the game and he's back into it straight into the fold classic looking for options he finds kiva but milox gets in between them he does not like that ship he's got better plans and he wants to sink it one go ahead now at the one minute remaining Mark him well. Lord saying you are not out of the woods yet. Arctic are gonna fight you too for now throughout the rest of this. And right now they're pulling just all the stops. Uh, play aggressively, play slowly, fake your opponent. Or again, play slowly one more time as Hello tries to chip the defenders of Arctic Gaming. Well then just have to make sure just they so much need to be tightened up and right now a, a goal helps, a goal certainly helps. As RT Gaming, I wasn't actually sure. It was just two challenges lost, and then the well done bounce from Keeper straight to Classics. He gets the credit, but that was a little bit of a wild one, Lausanne. Even to themselves, a little bit lucky as that went the way it, it went in the end. It's 30 seconds, gong rings. It is a tad too tough for RT Gaming to get in this one. They have been. From a previous game, they had so many chances in that, really shoot-wise, on par with Lausanne, but it just wasn't enough. All of those shots were used. Maybe there's another one. A tad too high. Milox couldn't keep it down. And it's a rare problem to have. Well, not in Rocket League, I suppose. And RT Gaming, however much they wanted to bring this to game number four, or this is the game number four, actually, to game number five. 
it just was enough. Lausanne. Well, top one team for a good reason, Bacon. And I think we've seen here on the field. Staying th uh, strong throughout the whole thing. Yes, there was Arctic game. Just one game. And it was a wild game and many crazy things there and maybe was well, then we'll like to forget about a little bit about it or maybe still be happy with it they didn't sink in that game they fought with their opponents but it just wasn't enough arctic gaming had their five minutes of fame then it's back to lausanne being on top yeah that's it to beat lausanne you have to out aggress them you have to outdo them Ooh. how can you do, like do that arctic nope. gaming did it for one game and they did it very well but to hold that out for a whole series, that is just too much to ask, I think, for even, you know, Svetch and Neva a lot of the time. They seem to always take it right down to the wire. It always goes to game five with them. Swiss and Credible Rebels shown as well that they're not up to the task. But three weeks to find that, Jam. Three weeks now because League Play is done and dusted. It is in the history book. Season one. League play is over. Season 2 to come up in, I do believe, end of January, start of February time. We'll have to get the confirmation from our man behind the camera, Raf, who has been doing a fantastic job, of course, broadcasting throughout the season here. But for us, we have to bring it to a close tonight. Next weekend, next Sunday, Sunday the 2nd, we'll be back here with the Challenger Cup. So promotion relegation round robin where we'll be thinning out the six challenger cup champions down to four those four the following weekend on the ninth will then be going up against the four bottom teams from league play silent game with masters monks and so and i was about to say Savet geneva what am i saying elvet I, bacon is bad just accept it they will all be fighting for their spot a single best of five for each of those four teams in the bottom half of the season to stay alive that is so much on the line there and then of course that following sunday so we have even more tcs league play action like you know you think you're done at the end of the league but no every sunday afterwards we whack in an extra bit of excitement the 16th was um december sunday the 16th of december we come in hot with the LAN finals myself and jay of course coming over the zurich to cast those from the studios and jam i reckon that's going to be nuts i'm pretty sure you're going to be watching aren't you, yes bro? i won't be there in person but i'll be here cheering and go jay go bacon and of course go team lausanne servettes team swiss incredible rebels and arctic have done well for themselves to stay at the top mm. of uh of the board up come the end of the season because this first season of TCS Esports, they have shown that Swiss region is competitive and with a structure in place, it can only get better from season to season with the support as well. If, if, it, if, if there wasn't interest, if there wasn't the, um, the sponsorships happening, then the teams wouldn't be even playing. But right now there's incentive and without incentive come new players, come great players. And I'm looking forward to what Swiss Rocket League, TCS Esports League, um, and just that region has to offer to people. Yeah, definitely. Been poking behind the curtains a little bit for next season there, Jam. And we've got so much to, you know, come up to. And it's all really exciting. So make sure you hit that follow button up above, of course, and hit that bell icon so you get notified every single time we go live. And go check out the Discord. I'm just going to quickly do an exclamation mark Discord in chat right now so you get that. But one final time, let's get a rundown of the leaderboard. In first place, 11 wins, two, um, sorry, 12 wins, two losses. Just uh, waiting for the, uh, you know, leaderboard to update there. There we go. Is Lausanne Esports in second, 11 wins, three losses. Savet Geneva, third, 10 wins, four losses. Team Swiss Incredible Rebels. Fourth comes Arctic Gaming, eight wins, six losses. Fifth, five wins, nine losses in Silent Gaming. Whiffmasters then bring in sixth, four wins, ten losses. Same results there for Monks. Unfortunately, they are seven games, you know, worse off in seventh and eighth with two wins and 12 losses. Unfortunately, it is Elvet. It's just what happens. You have to win. Teams have to win. That means teams lose at the same time. Elvet's getting the rougher end of it as they will come out up and face 
on the ninth against the top team from next week's round robin league play. It, it's, it's a hard time for Elvez, but we know they've got it in them. Like the same with Monks. And I feel a bit bad for these teams coming through the Challenger series because they have got to face up against four very strong teams, Jam. Yeah, it will be an exciting affair. And if we see some new so be it. Um, just bring someone else to play against Lausanne, Servette, Swiss and Railway Rouse in Arctic. Mm -hmm. That'll be great. Or it's a great opportunity for the old guard to prove themselves that they didn't get into the league by nothing, by some sort of luck. No, they deserve to be here. So if you want some more Rocket League, so Rocket League to the death. Mm -hmm. Not promising that there will be any deaths, but... Death um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Therefore, right, like, you want to turn, tune into that promotion relegation tournament. But though we have nothing left to stream tonight, we won't be doing anything over the weekend, but then next weekend. So you got to wait a week and three days, you uh, unlucky ducklings, you. But we will be back then on the second with more TCS action, of course. So don't go anywhere else for your Switzerland needs of Rocket League because this is where the best happens from myself digital bacon joined tonight by jar jam and of course aspartum raf as i call him behind the scenes we send you a very warm goodbye but we will be back very soon toodles <laughs>